another, it's not a vlog today actually, <laughs> I'm switching it up because I asked you guys in the comment section, I said, hey, what do you guys want to see more of? Like, tell me a video you guys want to see. And someone said, I want a video seeing how to program a workout for people that can't afford a coach, can't afford a trainer, that they have like some knowledge when it comes to working out and exercises, they just, they don't know how to put a workout together. This video is very general. It's gonna be more suited for beginners. And I'm excited, I'm excited because I was just like, gosh, it's such a cool video. I, I don't know if anyone has done this before. Like I had fun mapping this whole thing out. So let's get started. First of all, it's not a vlog, so it's throwing me off, but <laughs> gotta have some coffee in there, so. And P.S. I spilled some. <laughs> and I also got marker on me, so it's not it's not my day today. I've been a little clumsy. Mm, that's it's every fine. day. Every day, every day's like that. <laughs> so we're gonna go over a couple things. So I mapped out this all of this stuff on the board because we have this massive whiteboard. I think it's eight feet, and I haven't used it at all. So I was like, you know what? We are gonna draw everything out on the whiteboard and it's gonna be fun. So that's what we're doing. When it comes to putting together a workout program, um, it's not something that someone just throws together. You can't just throw together a legit awesome workout program. That's why you know trainers do this, this is why coaches do this, this is why athletes put together workouts. It's because there's a science behind it. It is not as easy as one, two, three, ABC, things that go into it. There's a lot of science that goes behind it. Honestly, I really enjoy putting together workout programs. Um, sometimes even my, my friends and family, they'll say, hey, can you put together a workout program for me? I'm like, yes. And so I'll sit down and I ask 25 different questions on my questionnaire. It's not as simple as like, how much do you weigh? How tall are you? That way I can kind of get to know the person, what their experience is, if they've had any like past injuries or anything like that. I need to know those things to create a workout program. But this video is gonna be very general. It is for beginners. It is if you cannot afford a coach or a trainer and you just want a general kind of guidance on how to put together your own workout plan. It is a great thing to get a coach and a trainer, someone that can help guide you, especially if you are unfamiliar with these exercises, you wanna be able to get your form down. Um, so if you do take this video and create your own workout plan and kind of put things together just make sure that you do research you have access to a trainer or coach in order to practice these exercises and make sure that you are getting the form down because that is number one I've had a lot of coffee today so. first thing we're gonna go over is when it comes to a training program what is your goal because there are so many different ways that you can train your body find out what your goal is is it to become stronger some people you know especially guys are like I just want to get stronger I'm like all right cool well, there's there's a training technique for that um, maybe you want to build some muscle. Maybe you just want to work on your endurance. You want to start cutting and you have the muscle mass, but now you want to shape the muscle mass type of thing. You want to shred the fat to uncover that muscle mass. That's kind of what this is for. So figure out what you're wanting to do. Um, me personally, I do a mixture of all of all three really I try to stick more of to the muscle mass building, but I will still dabble into strength training heavier squats deadlifts all that so, and then I also still do some endurance training. So I kind of dabble into all three. How often to work out? For a beginner, I suggest working out three days a week, like three to four, but for the sake of this video, I like to make everything organized. I said, hey, let's focus on three days lifting and then like two days of like abs and cardio, but three lifting days. Why do I suggest that? And a lot of beginners go out there and say, I'm gonna work out seven days a week, I'm gonna eat fish, I'm gonna eat tilapia for the rest of my life, it's gonna be great. If you're going from one extreme to the next, you're gonna burn out. If you're going from not working out at all to seven days a week, eating fish, tilapia, training hard, your body's gonna say, I'm, I'm no, like this is too much. You, you have to ease into it, especially to avoid an injury as well. Cause some people will get in the gym, they just start going hard. I'm like, calm down, calm down. All right, you got time. And, and something that really helped me when I was started lifting weights, I used to hate the gym. But for me, what helped me is I was like, ugh, I have to go to the gym. Okay, if I go today, I don't have to go tomorrow. Getting into that habit of that, I was like, okay, every other day. Um, Heidi, if you go to the gym, I'm gonna reward you by not having to go tomorrow. Perfect. And I got into that habit of doing that. And then so it went from like three days a week to four days a week to five days a week to six days a week. Depending on what now, I kind of do like five days a week, five to six days a week. And I love it. I enjoy it so much more now because I started seeing results in my body and I, it made me feel good. That's kind of why I suggest three days a week. And because you're gonna be sore. When you first start working out, you were gonna be sore and you were gonna need some time to recover. So I think three days a week is perfect when you are a beginner. Uh, but if you wanna go more than that and, and you can keep that up, like go for it. I am not saying don't do that. I am saying that if you hate the gym and you are just not looking forward to it right now, just doing, start maybe starting out three days a week, make it something attainable for you will really help. Next thing is uh, main training days. When it comes to lifting weights, you have six different muscle groups. You have your legs, 
shoulders, back, biceps, chest, and triceps. And then your core, of course. So if we're gonna break it down into three training days, I have Monday, legs and shoulders, Wednesday, back and biceps, Friday, chest and triceps. And then I, I would suggest Tuesday and Thursday is when you could do like your cardio and your abs. So you wanna slide those in there. Or if you wanna do, you know, two cardio days after like back and biceps, I don't really suggest doing it on legs because that's a long, that's a long day. But if you wanna just go to the gym three days a week, maybe do your abs and cardio on Wednesday and Friday along with these two. Or if you wanna go five days a week and do that, you, you can pick it because you're gonna write your own workout program. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many exercises to do? It really depends on the person, the workout program, all of that. But generally, remember this is general, it's two to four exercises per muscle group. Now, this is general. I have gone to the gym before where I have done 10 sets of squats and that is my whole workout. I'm like, I'm not doing anything more than that. So technically that is one exercise and that's not even on here. So don't think that this is the only thing that you can do. There are so many different things you can do, but we're keeping it general. So general, two to four per muscle group. Next thing, how many sets and how many reps to do? This is also gonna be very general because you guys might've seen me do reps before where you might've seen me do ascending ladders and descending ladders, so there's not one right way to train, but let's keep it general, all right? I have to keep saying that because I feel like there's just so much that goes into like workout programs, it's, it's hard for me to simplify things, but I'm doing the best I can for you guys. This is from a beginners, all right? So, how many sets to do and how many reps? Like I said, this is gonna depend on the workout program. This is very general, generally, when you are strength training, you are trying to gain strength in your body, it's usually the one to five rep range. If you are trying to build muscle, this is gonna be generally six to 12 rep range. If you are trying to uncover that muscle and get your endurance up and get some, get some shreds going, that's usually gonna be 15 reps and up. So the way that I train guys is I kind of utilize all three different ways of training. Sometimes you'll see me doing like descending ladders where I will do 15 reps and then I will do 12 reps, then 10, then eight, then six, then maybe even down to four. I've done that and then going all the way back up. So I'll descend and then ascend, if that makes any sense. So let me just draw that out real quick. So sometimes I'll start off with doing like 15 reps for the first set and then I will do 12 reps and then I will do 10 and then I will do eight and then six and then possibly four. This is one, two, three, four, five, six different sets but you're utilizing all three of these different training styles, technically. So this is descending, and then you're gonna ascend back up. The reason I'm showing you guys this is because I don't want you guys to think, oh, in order to build muscle, I can only stay in this rep range. In order to get stronger, I can only do this rep range. There's not one right way to train. There's not one, there's not one exact workout program that works for everyone. Everyone is different, and it's fun to keep it different and change it up, you know? So that's why I like that. And I also like to do these descending ladders because you are starting out with higher reps and working your way down to lower reps. You're gonna be increasing your weight along this time, so it's gonna be less chance of injury. Instead of jumping into, and power lifters do this too, you know, they, they warm up their body. They don't just walk in the gym and say, okay, I'm only gonna do one to five reps. They have to warm up their body properly. For the sake of this video, if you are a beginner, let's start you at like three sets of 12 to 15. I feel like this is like a safe number. Three sets of 12 to 15. But don't feel like this is the only thing you have to do. Maybe you wanna do um, three sets of eight to 10. Figure out what works best for you, you know? Okay, so moving on, I kind of threw together this workout plan for a beginner and just kind of like mapped it out and I wanna go over a little bit. So first of all, before any of these, you're gonna to have to have, do a proper warm up. And I did not have time to map that out, so this video is probably gonna be long as it is, so. Sorry guys, maybe we'll do that in another video. Uh, proper warm-ups are extremely important in order to get the muscle development, growth, cuts that you want, and strength. Let's say Monday, legs, shoulders, calves. This is a long day. As you can see, I, I mapped out here, here's your leg movements, and then I put some calves here, and then I put two shoulder workouts, so there you go. So that's Monday, and then we have Tuesday, cardio and abs, do whatever you want, go to Zumba, go go swim, go sprint, go run, go mm -hmm. give your boyfriend a piggyback ride for like an hour, do whatever is like fun and you enjoy. Jump on the treadmill, jump on the Stainmaster, elliptical, join a cycling class. Mm -hmm. I freaking hate cardio. And then when it comes to abs, uh, maybe choose two to four, eh, two to four for muscle group, two to four exercises for your abs on Tuesdays. And then we're going to back and biceps, this would be Wednesday. You're gonna do a seated cable row, lap pull down, bent over barbell row, or dumbbell row if you're not strong enough to do barbell. And this is another reason that there's a lot of technical things that go into putting together a workout program. So the reason that I picked out these different rows and these different movements for back is that you had your seated cable row where it, you were pulling like this, you're pulling horizontally, 
and then you're gonna have your lat pull down where you're pulling down vertically and then you're gonna have your bent over barbell dumbbell row where you're pulling vertically but at, at an uh, upwards angle you gotta mix it up and then I added hammer curls for your biceps and alternating dumbbell curls for your biceps the next day Thursday would be cardio and abs uh, Friday this is chest and triceps I just kind of drew in a chest and triceps workout real quick and I have push-ups, 25 reps, and that doesn't mean that you do 25 in a row. I put 20, if you can only do 15 or 20, do however many you can, take breaks as you need them. Now, I, I like to do 100 push-ups for a warm-up sometimes, and I just like bust it out. But, it took me a long time to get to that point. Um, there was a while where I would do 50 push-ups, and I would literally do one, and then like literally take a break, wait till I could kind of and then go back into it and do another one, and then just kind of wait for a second. It takes a lot of patience, but you gotta get there. Push-ups, dumbbell chest press, you can do it on the bench if you want, but um, I prefer laying on the ground if you're, a, if you're a beginner. You can do it on the bench, you can do it laying on the ground where you do your chest press. Dumbbell flies, uh, that would be the last chest exercise. Um, overhead tricep extensions and bench dips, and that would be it. So I, I literally just like sketch this out real quick, guys. So this is a very general beginner workout plan. The legs, shoulders, and calves might look a little bit intimidating right now. If you're not able to get through the whole workout, don't feel like you have to do every single thing very general way to set up a workout program. I did want to say one thing. The reason that I wanted to make this video is because when I started my fitness journey, I was a broke college student, so I couldn't afford a coach. I couldn't afford a trainer. I couldn't afford any of that. And you know, I had gained quite a bit of weight. So I feel for people when you can't afford a coach or a trainer. Um, and then I feel for people that are a coach and a trainer and they say, hey, like I need to also make money, this is my way of living. That's why I was so passionate about, about wanting to make this video because I know that not everyone can afford a coach, not everyone can afford a trainer. And you might only be able to sketch out a generalized plan for yourself, but it's still something helpful. It's still something that can help you with your fitness journey. It's not like I, I told you the exact way of how to do everything, but I do hope that it does help some people out there. I know that I would have really, really appreciated this video when I first started my fitness journey, which is why I wanted to make it. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I would have a long time ago. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Maybe I'll make more like this. And if you guys have another topic for a YouTube video you wanna see, make sure to comment below. And yeah, that's all I got. Also, if you give this video a thumbs up and you comment, you have a chance to win a tub of protein. I'm gonna pick a winner in 24 hours after I post this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'm wearing the new Buff Bunny collection leggings if you guys haven't been able to tell. Okay, all right, bye guys. <laughs>